Hey everyone, it is today, February 10th. So we are at this point, we're at the end of our celery juice we are. cleanse. That's the 40 days. Mm -hmm. We are halfway through our 30 minutes of spin bike a day, and we're at the beginning of our next challenge. But before we get to that, we'll talk about the celery juice. Let's. Yeah. So the big question is, will you continue on with your celery juice every day? For me, not every day. For me, yes, I think so. Okay. I I don't think I will give myself the same sort of pressure to have it every day. Mm -hmm. Like if we run out, I won't make you go to the grocery store to get celery juice right. or celery like I was doing. Yeah. But I want to make that a daily habit and I do like having celery juice and I feel better after I've had it. Right. And we can just talk about our experience a little bit. Number one is we're in the dead of winter right now. We are getting celery from I don't know where, way down south. Who knows where. The quality is poor. The <clears throat> price is probably in the on the highest side because it's Although, like three dollar over three dollars uh, pack. On one of the Facebook groups that I'm on, somebody mm -hmm. is doing the celery juice cleanse, mm -hmm. and they were saying that it was twelve dollars ahead of celery. Where? But they said they were in Australia. Oh, okay. But I was just like, whoa. So, we thought that three forty was expensive for a head of yeah. celery. Yeah, and whenever you add it up, like if you're doing it the way they say you could do it, it's like a whole head maybe per person. So yes. right now we're spending like 350 let's say a person but if you're doing seven dollars eight dollars a day that does add up over time and then you also have to hold on well because it's just a small part of your day well yes uh, but I was gonna say then the argument would be could you put a price <laughs> on, on health? health well of course not but there is economics behind yeah for sure. choices so if that's like not even your breakfast if that's like an addition mm -hmm. an additional eight dollars a day is difficult maybe to swing what I was gonna say okay <laughs> is just to finish this point is we have a garden and we have lots of space mm -hmm. so in the spring late spring and summer and even into fall we can have lots of celery and better quality and organic celery yes at all times and that is probably a lot more appealing to me because we also aren't using organic celery we're using conventionally grown celery so it kind yeah. of is almost like it defeats the purpose there's mm -hmm. still tons of benefit but celery is a soft flesh fruit so then it would be impacted by being conventionally grown so it would be better if we were using organic celery and I'm not even finding it at the store so that's not even really an option for us to use organic yeah and right for now. and for me I guess the reason why I would sometimes is I do feel good it still doesn't sit well in my stomach it's probably not a bad thing it's probably actually like telling me something I bet that's not sitting so well in my stomach so I think my mind would change a lot if we grew our own it was mm -hmm. higher quality you know it would have that bitter taste but I think it wouldn't be like oh that's another thing is like the quality difference or the taste difference is yeah. like sometimes you taste it and you barely taste it sometimes it's super bitter sometimes it has like a like a soapy chemically yeah. taste to it Which would make sense if we're buying yeah organic. yeah so I guess like there's a big variance in taste mm -hmm. as well so overall we'll continue doing celery juice mm -hmm. as like a more of a regular practice in our mm -hmm. life but with more focus coming into the summer, like spring, summer, fall, yeah. and being able to grow that. And we did buy seeds. So we just put our order in for our seeds for our garden and we got two different kinds of celery. Lots, yeah. I told Adam we're gonna make 50% <laughs> of our garden celery, so. Well, you need a lot. Like, we shall see. You know, if you're talking to a head or a couple heads a day, we were constantly going out, because you don't want to fill our fridge maybe with like 20 heads of celery. So you are going out getting celery a lot. Yeah, like every three days. Yeah, every few days, yeah. Okay, so celery juice. Keep for you, you're gonna keep it right now. Yeah, like I can, I will buy celery next time we go out. Right, but not like, I need this every single day. Yes. But you want to have every grocery run, you pick yeah. up one or two. Right? Yeah, exactly. I mm -hmm. think even just having it a couple times a week would be a nice addition. Mm -hmm. Plus, maybe we want to introduce something else like athletic greens or something like that. Another kind of juice too. Or just a yeah, green juice. Yeah, you could juice. try you could something say, else. Yeah, you could well. say a green juice in the morning. You know, even a small cup. I think it's nice too where even if you don't feel, because we're at the beginning of this journey, so I don't feel very different let's say after drinking celery juice right and but I think it's a good way to start the day and start in the right direction like you're not going to drink celery juice probably unless you like really want to go 180 and like drink celery juice and then eat like some big like greasy mess or something afterwards you're you're probably going to want to keep a cleaner like fresher feeling mm -hmm. diet for the rest of the day definitely so how did you feel did you notice that you felt any different did you notice your digestion change 
It's hard to say. I don't know. I can't pinpoint. I can't say like I drank it for seven days and I felt I used to feel like this and now I feel like this. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's one of those things too where if you're using it as a detox plan or, a, or like helping you detox and clean your body and that, it's really a long keep term. it going long term mm -hmm. uh, plan. That's why I don't want to give it up. I just want to take a break and then revisit it. That's getting right. rid of the consistency, but I just don't like this poor quality celery. Right. Okay. Yeah. So really it's an issue with this actual quality of celery not necessarily how it feels i think so the stuff that we had today was like yeah that was gross yeah okay so i do feel good but like i said my main benefit i think was saying that's a good way to start the day you know you're getting hydration vitamins minerals helping you cleanse mm -hmm. your system i think it's that right it's like that's a good start so i agree with that and then for me i did notice that i right. that my digestion was even like quicker so i feel better so that's very <laughs> in inconclusive and i liked it i would recommend it to people to try because you might yeah. find it very beneficial you might really like it and it helps you start down like a healthy path yeah. maybe what we'll have to do is bring this one back in the summer when we have celery from the i think garden. so and it doesn't have to be a separate 40 day challenge again it'll just be like oh wow look at the taste we can do a side by side you, yeah you know showing how you could really do it so if you like that video make sure you subscribe let us know if you're gonna try celery juice or if you've yeah. done it before thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next one